Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 9, Algebraic Expressions, Lesson 3. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Expand and simplify algebraic expressions. Let's look at the three properties, the commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. Commutative property, the law applies to addition and multiplication of numbers only. It tells us that even if you change the order of the numbers, we still get the same answer. So please remember, if you switch the numbers, it remains the same. It's only applicable for addition and multiplication, not for subtraction and not for division. The associative property, this rule also applies to only addition and multiplication. It allows us to group numbers when adding or multiply them, and we still get the same answer. So please take note, look at the examples there, whether we group the first two or we group the last two with addition, with multiplication, the outcome is still the same. But again, it does not work for subtraction or it does not work for division. Distributive property, when multiplying across addition or subtraction, this property allows us to redistribute the number and still get the same answer. Like 7 into minus 5x plus 2, it is 7 times minus 5x plus 7 times 2. And it gives you negative 35x plus 14. Addition of like terms. Look at the example. Simplify the following algebraic expression. Look at the first one a squared plus 3a minus 1 plus 2a minus 5a plus 7. So if you add, then of course the signs will not change. So you can either look at method 1, where we remove the bracket and then we collect the like terms. Or look at method 2, we can write them underneath each other and then we can add like that. But you're going to end up in both cases with 3a squared minus 2a plus 6. So you can decide what method works for you. Right, let's look at the, the next example. There we have three brackets which we must add. So what's the first step? First, remove the brackets. For each bracket, there's a plus in front, so the signs will not change. And then once you've done that, you collect the like terms. And your final answer should be 4p squared q plus 7. With subtraction, there's also two methods possible. It's either we write it down horizontally next to each other. But then remember, with the second bracket, all the signs inside the brackets must change. Like 2a squared becomes negative 2a squared. Negative 7 becomes plus 7. And plus 3 becomes minus 3. And then you collect your like term. Then you add. Or vertically, like method 2, the, but you must remember now that the subtractor, the 2a squared, becomes negative 2. Then you add 7 and minus 2 gives you a 5. Then the minus 7 becomes a plus 7 and you add 5 plus 7 is 12a. And of course, the plus 3 becomes a negative 3. The negative 4 and negative 3 is 7. Simplify the following one. 4b squared plus 9b minus 1 in brackets minus, open the bracket, 11b squared minus 8b plus 19. Again, this, the signs of the second bracket must change. So 11b becomes negative 11b squared minus 8b becomes a plus 8b and plus 9 becomes a minus 19. Then you collect your like terms and the answer should be minus 7b squared plus 17b minus 20. Of course, alternatively, you can also use the calculator to add the coefficients. Then I got a little exercise there for you, A, B, C, and D. The solutions are on the next page. Right, let's simplify the following expressions. 3a squared minus 2a minus 7 plus 3a plus 4 minus 2a squared plus 9a squared. If you collect the 3a squared minus 2a squared gives you a minus 1a squared. The negative 2a plus 3a plus 9a gives you a 10a. And then, of course, minus 7 plus 4 gives you a minus 3. Then b, x squared plus 6xy plus 5y squared minus 6xy plus 2y squared. x squared is on its own. Of course, 6y and minus 6y, xy cancels. And then 5y squared plus 2 gives you 7y squared. 
Look at C. 3A cubed is on its own. 2 plus 6 is 8A squared. 5 minus 7 is negative 2AB. And negative 7 plus 8 is plus 1B squared. We subtract. Remember, A cubed becomes minus A cubed. The sign must change. Don't forget. Then C becomes negative 6 plus 4 is negative 4A squared. Plus 7AB. Because the minus 7AB becomes plus 7AB gives you 12AB. And of course, plus 8B becomes a minus 8. So minus 7 minus 8 is minus 15. Again, people, use the calculator if you are not sure. This is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.